Hey friends, welcome back to Royal Appleberry. And if today is your first time at my channel, hello. I am so fugin' happy you found me. So what are we doing today? I am making a custom order. Um, this is going to be goat milk tea tree. Um, she doesn't want a color. And I'm just checking my temperatures. What is this on? Celsius. Okay, I'm like, what the hell? It? Uh, yeah, she's a... Uh, not really interested in having color or anything like that so she has psoriasis and she said that tea tree and goat milk soap is really good for her skin so that is what we are doing i think i'm not going to use that batch that batch is much cooler than my lye i just made some fresh lye let me grab a fresh batch of oils all right we'll use that one there and i'm so glad to be using my other camera now girl let me tell you that other camera was just not working for me I wasn't loving that at all so I'm going to use powdered goat milk just because I don't have any frozen goat milk and it is best to freeze your goat milk when you are um making goat milk soap if you're going to use the liquid because that way it doesn't scorch it your lye water so go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to put my goat milk powder in first and I'm not going to put um any other additives because she didn't ask for all that you know what I mean she had my bees knees and she really really did like it so um, that has a lot of the same ingredients minus the tea tree but <laughs> we're just gonna 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 do it like this so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a blend if I can get my stick blender together all right <laughs> So this is going to be a very very <laughs> quick soap making session um just because we're not doing anything fancy smancy to it just lye water oils goat milk that's it and she did say we could do cream but i mean the soap is going to end up that color anyway so i just feel like it's best to go with no color and then I'll add my tea tree oil. I'll hand stir that in. So, I feel like that's enough stick blending because this is quite warm. So, it's going to thicken up pretty fast. And we're not doing anything to it. So, it's okay if it does thicken up fast. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean out my stick blender. So, um, this is something that we started new in 2020. What is the highlight of your day today? Um, let me think. What is my highlight? I always say making soap. Making soap is always the highlight of my day. But today has been a little bit, just a tiny bit stressful because my, my boy cat, he's 20, no, he's 19 years old and he's blind. A lot of you know him. I call him Bun. <laughs> Um, so my little bun bun, he was having a difficult morning. Now his joints are really bad. His back legs are really, really bad, but he still gets around just fine. You know, he's fairly happy, although he's like really old. Um, and he will beat the hell out of you <laughs> if you mess with him too much, even though he's blind, he, he, he can, he can, he can definitely land a blow if he wants to. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, my baby cat, the little one we have, she's always messing with him and, He'll give her a one-two punch every now and then. But like I said, for the most part, he's a happy boy. You know, he's not, uh, doesn't seem to be in pain. He goes up and down the stairs. And at first I was just like, oh, stop doing that. But you know what? Let him get his exercise in. If he wants to walk, let him. But he was in my bed. And my bed is kind of tall. And I should have taken him out of the bed. So I'm adding my tea tree oil right now. I should have taken him out of the bed. But he was sleeping. I didn't want to bother him. And he decided to jump when I wasn't in the room. So he kind of irritated his back legs. And he's not walking too well right now. But gave him some uh, pain meds. And uh, he's just kind of hanging out resting right now. So that was a little bit stressful. He seems to be okay. I think he just hurt his legs. Um, because he was still scratching with those legs. You know. And he wasn't meowing in pain. And I, I kind of gave them a little feel just to be sure it was nothing broken or see if he would yell out and he didn't so um yeah he's just kind of hanging out so that was a little bit stressful but other than that um oh 
oh you know what the highlight of my day today was all of the sales that came in this morning yes that was a highlight of my day today so you guys are still being super duper awesome to me so i greatly appreciate that now i need to really just start using i got bigger bowls i have way bigger bowls and why i don't use them i don't know <laughs> i have no clue why i don't use them but um i need, probably should start so i can avoid doing this but let me tell y'all i gotta get this open this mold because it is really hot right now because of um the fresh live water so i think that's fairly good but yeah i really need to start using my bigger bowls and tea tree is very medicinal smelling and just um just when it's in its potent form i'm not a big fan but when it's in soap it actually smells really really nice and you guys know if you do know tea tree has a lot a lot a lot a lot great benefits for the skin so i see why she wanted the goat milk tea tree Alrighty, so i feel like that is well mixed this is let me see this is crazy hot i just want to know how hot this is so it's 135 degrees but um it's still well behaved so i'm trying to figure as long as i can still stir it i will okay so we're gonna get this in the mold and then we'll texture it up so this should turn out a nice creamy color um it looks yellow quite yellow now but it should be more of a softer cream once it's um, gone through the saponification phase. I cannot believe how hot that is. <laughs> so I feel like this one um, I may have to put in the fridge because it is quite warm. And I will really hate for it to crack on the top. I mean, if it cracks, no big, but still, I don't want to crack on the top, you know what I mean? So I'm going to give that a little shake, and then once it's able to be textured, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, doke so this is ready to be textured. I'm just going to clean up the sides a little bit. There, and there. And just give it a little texture on the top, nothing too crazy. Sometimes the most simplest soaps are the prettiest, I swear. They really are. So I think we're going to do something along those lines. I'm not going to clean up that side because every time I clean up the side, I end up messing it up. <laughs> so let's do that one more time. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So, um, I will, ooh. <laughs> Put soap all over my hand. I will at least do this with the uh, skewer. Because it leaves less of a mess than the, um, spoon. So, guys, stay tuned because the cut is coming up. Well, let me give you a close-up. That's how it's looking and it smells nice and nice and tea tree. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. I don't want to say camphorous because I, don't, I just don't like that word. But um, yeah, it smells like tea tree. But it's nice. It's not overpowering. But anywho, on that note, I will see you guys over the cutting. Hey friends, welcome back to the cut of my goat milk tea tree soap. Um, it's not going to be a whole lot to see, but <laughs> I'm going to cut it anyway. It's just something so beautiful about just a, got a little calendula from my other soap on here, just a plain colored soap. I don't know. I just really love them. They're just always so pretty. And I think I might have gotten a partial gel. What do you guys think? <laughs> you think? <laughs> but um, that goes hand in hand with a goat milk soap in my experience. So I'm not going to cut any um, ends off of this soap because the whole thing belongs to her. But um, you guys will be seeing one of these in the shop because it is needed. I am really afraid to tighten my wire as you guys saw. 
last week so i'm not tightening my wires just because oh <laughs> look at that that is the first time ever in the history <laughs> of royal appleberry of having a partial gel like that that is interesting and it's kind of cool <laughs> wow look how cool that is i've never been excited about a partial gel <laughs> but it looks like a design that is really really cool so like i said i knew that was gonna well, I didn't know I was going to get a partial gel, but I knew like it was really hot because um, it had heated up pretty, heated up, heated up, is that right? It had heat up, heated up pretty good. So I took it and I popped it in the fridge. So um, yeah, I kind of like that. I think that I'm not going to try to fix this. Now, mind you, for those of you who are new, a partial gel is nothing more than aesthetics. It is just the way that the soap saponifies. Um, some people force gel on their soaps to get like a, a darker color or a farmer bar and some people don't. I don't normally force gel on my soaps but because the soap got hot it forced gel in the center that shows where all the heat was and it was cooler on the outside for me putting it in the fridge but I like that so <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> Yeah, that is actually really cool. So I actually did get a design in this soap unintentionally. Thanks for gel. Well, partial gelling, should I say. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to tighten this wire, although I don't want to, but I'm going to have to. Because uh, that's crazy. And the reason why I don't want to tighten my wire because I'm too chicken. I keep breaking wires. <laughs> so we're just going to uh, uh, struggle through this uh, cutting video, but it's cool. So, yeah, look how pretty that is. That is actually really gnarly. I'm going to take pictures of that. That's really, really cool. But anywho, I hope your day is going good. Mine is going pretty good. So we're going to talk about the highlight of our day. The highlight of my day today is, and okay, I don't even know if I talked about the highlight of my day in the making video, but the highlight of today, because this is, I want to say almost a week later, the highlight of today is, um... I think, yeah, I said in last week's video, Gabe bringing me coffee in bed, which she does every weekend. Coffee in bed and yogurt and granola. That was really, really sweet. And then him showing me a picture. <laughs> okay, so my boy cat is 19 years old. He's blind. And his back legs, his joints, he's a Maine Coon. If you know anything about Maine Coons, they have joint issues as they get older. Um, it's kind of hereditary in them. So... <laughs> He's been in our room um, recuperating. We have him on, uh, I guess, a little mini vacay, which he's not in love. He's not in love with it at all because he's in the room by himself. But we go visit him often, and he's still not in love with it. <laughs> he wants me to stay in the room with him all day, and I'm like, but I can't stay here with you all day. But we go in there and give him cuddles and treats, and I'll hang out with him for about an hour or so. But however, um, he was just having struggles, Bill five o'clock this morning and when he's having struggleville you know how cats like to do that beautiful throaty sing <laughs> that song <laughs> i'm being very very sarcastic it's not beautiful but he was doing that so gabe is just like trying his best to get him to you know calm down and he just wouldn't and so he popped him in the bed with him and uh <laughs> They took a selfie. <laughs> the Gabe sent it to me this morning. I'm like, oh, that's hilarious. They both look really exhausted. And so that's too funny. Yeah. Having senior cats is almost like having a baby. They're very needy. Well, at least in my case, he is. But this soap just is it's doing it for me. This soap is everything. So I think on the next one that I do, I'm going to immediately pop it in the fridge right off the bat. I'm not going to wait and see. Because I noticed what made me pop it in the fridge. I felt the sides. It was a tad bit warm. And then I noticed one tiny crack on the top of the soap. I said, yeah, I need to get this in the fridge. So, um, yeah, the next one I'm going to immediately pop in the fridge. Because, now if you see the difference here, it's much darker. It's firmer too. And it's more of a yellowish tinge. And then the outside is more of a pretty ivory color. I like the milky ivory color of this soap. So, that's what I want to go for the next time. But yeah, I got my plans for today is to make a few more soaps. And it seems like the rain has calmed down for now. Because we're supposed to get three inches of rain today. And then turn to freezing. Our whole backyard is like a, a mini lake. 
so that's not good but um i'm just trying to stay down here because we have a sump pump so i'm just trying to keep an eye on things which i have lots of work to do anyway for those who are new to my channel my studio is in my basement which is where my sump pump is at so um yeah i'm just gonna kind of hang out down here just keep an eye on things it had got kind of gnarly the wind and the rain for a minute it was coming up like halfway up our driveway i'm like oh shoot but um i don't hear anything right now so that's a good thing and it was raining like so hard that it was kind of washing the foundation away from certain parts around our house which we have to build back up and it was allowing rain to come down into the basement um, through one block window, glass block window, so we need to get that fixed. But yeah. So that is what is going on for today at Royal Appleberry. I hope you guys are having a fan food fantastic day. And um, yeah, leave me your highlight comments, the highlight of your day comments. Um, <laughs> we got a baby partial gel there. Just let me know what's the greatest part of your day today. And um, thank you all for tuning in and sticking around if you're new thank you for hanging out this long i am so happy to see all the new faces joining the sack over at royal appleberry it is so so cool to see our sack grow in 2020 but yeah so um i guess that's it to the next soap making video be awesome and amazing at everything you do be kind to each other and i love you and i'll see you in the next making video i'm um, bye